what happens? Time warp. After all this mayhem, we can use a little break. You want to try our next story at home? Go right ahead. It just looks like it's there and it's gone. Yep, soap bubbles. But soap bubbles like you've never seen before. When Time Warp returns. There is no pastime too innocent that doesn't attract professionals. And Keith Johnson is one such professional. Keith Johnson is the bubble artist, and he's got a great gig. His full-time job is all about blowing huge bubbles for kids and maybe sneaking in a few scientific principles along the way. I was the first bubble artist in America to get a government grant to research, create, and perform a soap bubble show. Paid by the government. That is correct. These are your tax dollars at work. You know, considering some of the things our tax dollars are spent on, Bubble blowing seems like an efficient expenditure. It does have that cool thing going for it. I just think it's fascinating the way they move, the colors on the outside, the way they shimmy around. They're the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. It seems like that they're really wobbly and unpredictable, but they follow along with some of nature's basic laws. There is a method to the bubble madness that unlocks some pretty basic laws of nature. Law number one, they act like a prism, reflecting the basic colors of the universe. White light coming in is actually composed of all the colors in the rainbow. And based on the thickness of the film, all the different colors refract off in a different way. And so just like a prism, we get the whole spectrum in every bubble. The amazing thing to me is that when you look up close, it looks like bubbles are clear, but there's so much color going on. That is correct. It's every color of the rainbow. I like to think that the colors are a map showing you that the film is thick in some places and thinner in others. Law number two. Bubbles want to be round, not get around. When we warp one of Keith's monsters, it looks like a drunken amoeba. But once let go, it wobbles its way toward becoming spherical. Go for it. All right. When we get warped, this basic bubble yearning is revealed. They long to become spherical, and their ultimate demise is all part of the great scheme of things. But unlike death and taxes, there is a way of prolonging the inevitable. And that brings us to law number three. Bubbles are wet and like to stay that way. Now, anytime you touch a bubble, it pops, but it seems like you have no problem using any of these tools to mess with bubbles without them blowing up. The rule is dry things pop bubbles, but wet things don't. If you wet your hand, you could probably put your whole hand in there. All right, I'll try it. Oh, yeah. Very different. The impossible becomes possible. The soap bubble molecules bond with the same molecules coating Jeff's hand, so he's more than welcome to come inside. But as soon as my fingers dry, though, big difference. A dry speck of dust enough to pop the bubble. It's amazing how delicate the bubble really is. Now, as a bubble expert, have you had a chance to see one of these pop? It happens so fast, I've not. I'd it's love a, to see it. It's a couple thousandth of a second. Well, <laughs> Matt, are you? <laughs> why don't we set this up? <laughs> Keith has had a chance to show off to us. Now, it's our turn. We're going to show him something he's never seen before. A bubble bursting at 5,000 frames a second. A simple ball bearing is the projectile of choice to accomplish the task. It's coming down. Ready. At normal speed. How is that? It looks like the bubble just explodes. But is that what's really happening? So there it is. It's I pretty mean, amazing. You think of it as one event, instant event, but there you can really see the tear. You never think of it as a directional event. It just looks like it's there and it's gone. Watch the bubble burst again, even slower this time. There's some complex science going on here, 
Surface tension holds the soap bubble molecules together while the air inside the bubble is forcing them apart. When the bubble begins to tear, soap molecules shoot out in all directions as tiny droplets. Okay, as we bid farewell to the wonderful world of bubbles, we recruit some volunteers to give them a last kiss goodbye. So there you have it, bubbles. Everyday psychedelic miracles of physics, the time warp way.